On April 30, 1692, Jonathan Walcott and Thomas Putnam appeared before John Hathorne and Jonathan Corwin to file an official complaint against Susanna Martin for tormenting Mary Walcott, Mercy Lewis, Abigail Williams, and Putnam Jr., Elizabeth Hubbard, and Susanna Sheldon. The magistrates issued an arrest warrant for Susanna Martin and ordered that she be brought to Ingersoll on Monday, May 2. On May 2, 1692, Susanna appeared before Judge John Hathorn and Jonathan Corwin on the charge of practicing witchcraft. As she entered the meeting house, the afflicted fell into fits. Hath this woman hurt you? Abigail Williams said, It is Goody Martin. She hath hurt me often. The others were not able to speak as they were all having fits. Elizabeth Hubbard said she had not hurt her, and John Indian said he never saw her before. Mercy Lewis pointed at her and fell into a fit. Susanna Martin laughed as the afflicted were all having fits. Why do you laugh at it? Well, I may at such folly. Is this folly to see these so hurt? I never hurt a man, woman, or child. Mercy Lewis cried out, she hath hurt me a great many times and plucks me down. Susanna laughed again. Mary Walcott said, this woman hath hurt her a great many times. Susanna Sheldon also accused Martin of hurting her. What do you say to this? I have no hand in witchcraft. What did you do? Did you consent these should be hurt? No, never in my life. What ails these people? I do not know. But what do you think ails them? I do not desire to spend my judgment upon it. Do you think they are bewitched? No, I do not think they are. Well, tell us your thoughts about them. My thoughts are mine own when they are in, but when they are out, they are in others. You said their master. Who do you think is their master? If they be dealing in the black art, you may know as well as I. What have you done to hurt these? I have done nothing. Well, is it you or your appearance? I cannot help it. I desire to lead my life according to the word of God. Is this according to the word of God? If I were such a person, I would tell you the truth. How come your appearance just now hurt these? How do I know? Are you not willing to tell the truth? I cannot tell. He that appears in the same shape can appear in any one shape. Do you believe these afflicted persons do not say the truth? They may lie for aught I know. May not you lie? I dare not tell a lie if it would save my life. Then you will not speak the truth will you? I have spoken nothing else. I do not think that you have such affections for these whom you just now insinuated had the devil for their master. The marshal interrupted and said Martin had just pinched her hands. Elizabeth Hubbard was immediately afflicted. Several of the afflicted cried out they saw her upon the beam. Pray God discover you if you be guilty. Amen, amen. A false tongue will never make a guilty person. Mercy Lewis stood and said, You have been a long time coming today, and you can come fast enough in the night. No, sweetheart. Almost all were afflicted. John Indian fell into a fit and cried, It was that woman. She bites, she bites. Look, she is biting her lips. Have not you compassion on these afflicted? No, I have none. The afflicted cried out that there was a black man along with her. Abigail Williams went towards her but could not come near her. John Indian said he would kill her if he came near her, but he fell down before he could touch her. What is the reason these cannot come near you? I cannot tell. Maybe the devil bears me more malice than another. Do you not see God evidently discovering you? No, not a bit for that. All the congregation thinks so. Let them think what they will. Susanna Martin was sent to jail to await trial. On June 29, 1692, 
she was indicted for practicing witchcraft and sentenced to be hanged. On July 19, 1692, Susanna Martin was brought from jail to Proctor's Ledge and hanged. Accused of practicing witchcraft. This video was produced by 1692 Before and After. In memory of those falsely accused and persecuted during the Salem Witch Trials. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. For more information about the Salem Witch Trials visit 1692beforeandafter.com